All right, it's a wee bit chilly in the shop today, so I've got my hoodie on, but uh, we're going to make it a little bit dirty. And uh, today on the to-do list is servo bays. We're going to try to knock out the flap servo bays as well as the aileron servo bays. Let's get started. <laughs> So what we have here is a mostly completed servo bay. So all I did was uh, create a plate out of some balsa um, and <clears throat> just sized it and sanded it to fit just right in this space here. And then from there, I uh, well, obviously I need to reinforce it because the balsa is pretty thin and I uh, want to make sure that this plate is going to hold the torque of the servo as it as it works so um, with that I cut out a piece that's going to be the hatch and then from three layers of 164 ply I made a plate focus focus anyway so that is what we're looking at in terms of what's structural and what's not. So uh, with that, I just traced the inside corners of the servo where it was roughly placed. And that way I would have the uh, corners for where these mounting blocks go. And those are just medium C8 in. I can add uh, some epoxy to those later. Um, and then drilled servos, uh, oh, sorry, drilled holes to hold the servo in place. Drilled two holes at each end for the servo horn to protrude and have enough clearance as it rotates. And then just cut that center section out after I did the drilling. So all that's left is uh, to get final position and drill holes on each corner. You notice I put a piece of ply on each end to support and that also acts as a, a material to drill into to hold the plate in place. So I'll do one hole on each corner and obviously with that in place and that way I'll have a place to put in my four screws to hold everything in place. On top of that I added some additional balsa here to stiffen the plate a little bit more. Uh, doesn't need any more than that, and that should be sufficient. All right, so now I've got to replicate that three more times. Uh, I've got to do, so originally the flap servo was here in the innermost bay. I'm not sure I want to do that because that puts all the torque right here, and generally, you want to have torque in the middle of your control surface just so that it's a little more even. So like if you apply the torque here and it pulls the flap down, you could have the resistance here pushing the, so it'd be like kind of, it's, it's twisting the control surface and you don't want to do that because as this part, it 
gives and stretches and whatnot, it's going to change your flight dynamic and you're going to end up overcompensating. So try to make it stronger. This is about the uh, center of the aileron. I don't have that. Let's see what the, down here. Oh, yeah. Aileron. So this isn't the correct aileron, but anyway, you get the idea. Not exactly in the center, but I couldn't put it in the center because that's where the struts mount. So I did the next best thing, went inboard so that my, uh, my servo extension doesn't have to be longer and cause any further complications electrically, uh, but that should be sufficient. And with the flap, oh, why not? Again, the wrong flap, P always picking the wrong flap. So again, the servo originally was placed here, probably gonna go here and that should be fine. All right, so let's get to it. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for today. <laughs> Actually, tomorrow for you, uh, the, uh, the, the plan didn't go exactly to plan. I uh, ran out of time and ended up going to the next day. It's okay. I spent time with my family. It's all good. Taking care of responsibilities too. So uh, yeah, got all of my servo bays installed and all of my servos installed as, all, as well. Uh, big shout out to Dubro for supplying me with servo horns. Uh, I know their servo horns are super reliable. I replace them on all my servos almost all the time. So I've got them on these uh, JR servos. They make them for JRs specifically, uh, as well as uh, these Futaba servos. So thanks again, appreciate it. So we're gonna keep on going. Next up is gonna be to cover the wings and see how that goes. So we're gonna continue on this flying work of art. Thank you.